Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceOurStore.com. Uh, this is our, our final video on this rare vehicle. This is a 1970 Volkswagen single cab. A lot of people refer to them as the transporter edition, uh, but it's a single cab long bed pickup. So in previous videos we shared a lot of the, the stages on the build and now it's uh, just ready. We're uh, going to get uh, ready to load it in our enclosed trailer and deliver it. So I'm just going to do a brief uh, I'm not getting into too much detail to bore everyone, but on the front we've got a new windshield, new wiper arms, nozzles, blades. Uh, we've got the uh, obviously the, the grille, it's all uh, black in behind to give it some, some definition. We have the upgraded H4 uh, sealed beams as opposed to just the normal headlights. Uh, and then we've got new marker lights, all new gaskets. Uh, you'll notice the front bumper, we've custom painted it a graphite gray metallic. That's a base coat, clear coat paint, and that paint matches the VW crest. And it also matches the custom wheels I'll share with you when we come down the side. We've got a little bit of a stripe package to break up this, uh, this nice uh, green paint finish. And our customer wanted to have additional lighting in case of fog. So uh, these are an LED auxiliary fog lights that so we have a set of them here and then we've tied it into the back with one LED red light for fog that we'll show with you when we get to the back of the uh, of the single cab. So as we come over to the side we've got all new weather stripping, we've got all new chrome trim, we have new chrome mirrors, we have the new lenses, the new rubber pads for the bumperettes, and then we've got new door handles and grommets. So you can see a little bit of the stripe package here where it kind of accentuates and breaks up um, kind of shows the grooves in the side panels and then it breaks up along the sides. We've got really nice wheels. Our client found these. Uh, these are a, a beautiful alloy, large um, five bolt pattern with the polished uh, ring and the nice chrome center cap. We've upgraded. This, are, this is a, a, a disc brake uh, conversion of front instead of drum brakes. And we have brand new Firestone all season. I think they're champion. Uh, they're an all-season radial tire. And then we have, uh, I'll kind of get out of the way, the camera person. So when we open up the interior, I don't think we showed the interior before. So we have, um, like I mentioned, all new weather stripping on the inside, all new weather stripping around the door. We've got new door panels, new grab handles, new window winders. And then the dash is all pretty much stock. We've upgraded the stereo uh, to an MP3 player. It's a retro sound stereo. Um, and then you notice on the dash, the little knobs are on back order that have the little tabs for the ventilation. There's two blues and two reds that will be coming. Um, and then what we've done, this is uh, something that we've added. Uh, we've got a switch here for the fog lights for the, uh, for the front and the one for the rear. And this little red push button is going to be now the washer uh, pump. So in 1970, this single cab truck um, didn't have an electric uh, washer pump. It relied on, on uh, just air. So what we've done is it's a conversion kit. And you can barely see it if you come down a little bit. This washer bottle is now here with an electric pump attached. And then when the client, if he wants to uh, get the washer, it's now an electric button here, but the switch is in a normal spot to turn your wipers on. Uh, we've got these nice panels, um, the black panels for the filler panels. Instead of having the typical um, vinyl on the floor, we've got this beautiful carpeted floor that we've glued in. And uh, you can see it's got all the nice edging finished off and sewn. And then we have rust proofing plugs all along here because the vehicle was rust proof before and we wanted to give the option to the client to be able to do that once again. Um, I think you can see up above we've got brand new headliner. Um, they're very, very tricky to do. Uh, you can see the nice tight seam and uh, it's really tight in there and it's domed so it's, uh, it's quite tricky to put them in, believe it or not, uh, the headliner. So we've got the nice contrast in color. We've got this custom gray and then we went with a little bit lighter color on the door panels to match the headliner so it all complements each other. You got the black dash and then the black down below. Uh, we've upgraded the seat belts. It has the retractable seat belt that spools in here uh, and there's a three-point safety belt so we have it for both driver and passenger sides. Um, and we got sound deadener, sound insulation and then we have the nice uh, rubber padding that's glued down here 
on the step plate. Okay, so uh, that's basically, and then we have the uh, the MP gear shifter. So instead of having the normal stock uh, four-speed gear shifter, that's a chrome upgrade. You'll see the little loop there. Uh, that's the lockout feature for the reverse uh, on that. So we've got the new upholstery. It never came with the sewing this way with the seams. I don't know if it'll if you can pick it up in the video. Um, but what they do is we we've, we've got uh, foam padding that's been sewn to this nice uh, leatherette or vinyl material um, and it gives you this nice definition so we have it in the backs and also on the other side instead of being plain so i'll just shut this door and kind of get it away and then you can see coming down the side so first of all in the cab in the back we've got uh, the new uh, window seal there we have a linex product that we had done it's a linex material our client's probably going to use this vehicle and display it um, so we wanted to go with the Linex on the bed liner and then you have the uh, rubberettes, the stoppers here uh, because these gates fold down so we've got new rubbers. And you can see once again obviously the alloy wheels with the stripe. We've got the new lights on the back and as we come around the back of the single cab truck you can see once again there's quite a nice contrast and once again we've tried to accentuate uh, the pressed in panels or the stamped panels on the fold down tailgate. So we've got the new stoppers once again. We have the tie downs here because there is an option to have a canvas top. We have the new Volkswagen insignia on the back, new license plate light, new latch, and then we have our reverse lights obviously and our brake lights. And then all of our hardware, these are special stainless steel bolts. And then our um, rear bumper, uh, is a stock steel bumper and then we've also done the base coat clear coat this is a special graphite to match the wheels and then we have an upgraded MP exhaust and I mentioned earlier the reverse uh, sorry the fog light um, so when you turn the switch on in the front we've got the two LED fog lights but it also is wired to this rear to give you some extra uh, visibility uh, if it's foul weather and then the engine itself um, is upgraded and the engine bay looks quite neat and tidy. We've got all new weather stripping. Uh, it's going to take a while for this rubber to relax because it's sticking out quite far. Uh, but we've upgraded the engine. You can see we've got the twin uh, Weber carburetors. Uh, we've got the balanced and weighted pulley. And then we have our um, um, flamethrower electronic uh, ignition. So uh, the engine is uh, 800 and 30, 40, 50, 41? 35. Sorry, 1835. <laughs> um, so it's an 1835 cc engine. Um, so we've done quite a bit of work to it. It has a mild cam, uh, quite a bit of, of power now compared to the, uh, to the stock engine. And uh, it's been broken in. We've, we've done quite a few test miles on it. And we also have um, a highway flyer upgraded transmission. So you can drive at highway speeds or highway much higher uh, gearing ratio with the uh, with the highway flyer the highway flyer uh, transmission. So we come down this side, the passenger side, same kind of idea. Uh, we've got the uh, the, the uh, decals along the sides. We have our fuel door here, and then the other feature that we didn't share with you before. We've got a lot of clutter, so I apologize. The weather's not very nice right now outside. Uh, we have this big storage unit or storage door on this passenger side. Um, it locks with the key, so the only way to open it um, is with the key, and then it has this pull-up. Now typically what happens is um, that cargo area goes all the way through to the other side of this uh, 1970 single cab Volkswagen. It's very, very difficult to have access and to kind of reach in there, so our client came up with a wonderful uh, device and we had to modify it to fit our application. So first of all, we did a lot of metal work inside, replaced a lot of rusty sections, we finished all the bodywork inside, and then when we had the Linex product applied to the uh, truck bed, we also had it applied in this area. Um, and this is a really new feature. This is uh, made by a company called Bed Slide, and it's on uh, 
It's on rollers and it's fully adjustable. Uh, it has a lock handle feature here. There's a textured top. It has side rails and it's just super convenient because you'll be able to uh, put a bunch of products on here or booster cables or emergency things or cleaning devices and you'll be able to utilize this whole tray uh, and, it, and it comes all the way out pretty much. So, and then it has a latch locking mechanism inside uh, so it stays latched and then we have all the body work done here. Most people won't paint uh, this bottom side. They don't do the work on it, but what we want to do is make sure that we have uh, all of it body colored all the way across. And we have our latch, which is factory, and then all new seals. So that's kind of a neat thing. And then when we shut it, um, it, uh, it locks each time, so everything that's down in that cargo area stays secure. We have, same as the other side, all new uh, chrome trim, all new uh, rubber strips. We've got a slight window tint on the glass, so we've had the side windows and the rear glass window with just the lightest tint, uh, which is legal here in Ontario, um, and it just kind of helps with the contrast um, overall. And then you can see on the passenger side, uh, once again, we've got the nice carpeted floor. We've got one speaker here, a custom speaker that uh, is part of the, the system, and we have another one uh, that we've put behind the seat, and the seat is latched to the back. And you can see, obviously, with the rubber, and then, as we mentioned earlier, with the, uh, with the stitching and then the nice door panels. So that basically is, uh, is a complete walk around. We'll just come around to the front again. Um, so these are quite rare. Uh, depending on what part of the country or world you're in, um, there's not really a whole lot in our area. So uh, we, we basically finished it, we did all the road testing. Uh, we had an individual come in and do an appraisal on the vehicle for our client. So now it's ready to be loaded into our enclosed trailer. So this is a 1970 Volkswagen single cab. And I thank you for watching. I'm John from Last Chance, AutoRestore.com.